Guys, right now, I'm following a Texas rat snake that has seen me coming after him, and so he's just bolted into the water. Oh. Oh. Woo, look at this big boy. Now this right here is a good-sized Texas rat snake. Gorgeous coloring, too. I'm going to walk him over here so you guys can take a better look at him. Oh my gosh, look at the pattern on this big old boy. So like I said, fellas, Texas rat snake. Normally the ones that I catch are a little bit grayer or blacker. And you see this guy's got his yellow coloring, which is typical of what we have in the state of Texas are Texas rat snakes. And the other southern states, they have the gray or the black rat snake. And these guys get huge. They max out somewhere around seven feet at their heaviest, but you'll I commonly see them more at five or six. And as you could see from whenever I was picking him up, he was easily close to a six foot specimen and just a beautiful one at that. He seems real healthy and like he's eating well. And you will commonly find these guys around your house and around trees, sometimes climbing up the bricks of your house because they are amazing climbers. They have belly scales that I don't know if you can see them, but they're very ribbed and lined and pretty much perfectly designed for climbing. They're amazing for climbing. They can grip almost any surface and they can just go vertically and almost anything, anything, and it's amazing. But most rat snakes, what I've found, is if you go to mess with them, they can put up a pretty valiant display. They'll get in that huge S and they'll open that mouth and just open it wide at you and then really try and make themselves look scary. But they really just don't want to be messed with and that's mostly just a bluff. Like they're trying to bluff you out so that way you leave them alone. But if you do press on, they will try and bite you. But they're not venomous so it's not gonna matter. And like I said, as long as you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. A rat snake isn't gonna come after you. See him opening his mouth up at me right now? Awesome display. But a gorgeous, gorgeous snake very important to the environment because he feeds on mice, rodents, small mammals, and they do great on farms. Anywhere that there's crops or anywhere around your house where you don't want mice, it's a perfect snake to have around you, no doubt about it. But you just gotta love this pattern and they're, they are perfectly designed for this woodland type outdoors. He wrapped around my foot. See these yellow with the black circles? Whenever they're practically moving in the woods and through the woodland canopies, they are very very hard to see because of that camouflage and as you could see earlier they are fantastic swimmers so they're adapted to almost any lifestyle texas rat snake fellas praise the lord for this guy he is absolutely gorgeous and we're just going to let him go on the way i gotta tell my buddy nathan wells thanks for letting me catch him too because he told me about this spot for big texas rats and look what we got we got this monster right here Woo! praise your god texas rat snake <laughs>